What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another JHow Tech Tip, where we're going to talk about how to listen to music while streaming that the audience might not hear, or conversely, how you have an option to do that with Amazon Music. And we're going to cover both options so that you can get exactly what you want and be able to listen to music. Because right now, the DMCA rules, it's not legally allowed to listen to copyrighted music while streaming. So if you go out of your way to listen to that, you always run the risk of getting your channel taken down or getting a strike or something like that. So you always wanna try and avoid that. But if you really care about your channel, there's a, there's a reason you're watching this video. We're gonna talk about those different ways to do it. Now, if you are using a two PC setup, this will be infinitely easier. If you're using a single PC setup, there's gonna be a few extra steps. So we'll talk about that now. And the number one thing that you have to remember is if you are in OBS and you go to your desktop audio and you click on your properties, it will show you what device you're using. Now for me, I'm using an Elgato. I have a two PC setup, so therefore it's going to send it through the Elgato. Now, one thing that's very important to note about this is that if you have the Elgato sound capture, it's going to look like this. And the one thing that you'll see is it's sending to my HD60S, which is the capture card. It's also going to output through my speakers as well as a headset that I have for various things that I do, as well as a couple of other devices that I have. So the output is there, and that's what we're trying to focus on, is that it's going to output to the sound capture. Now, the one thing that you have to utilize is built into Windows, believe it or not. If you click on the search bar and you type in sound mixer, you're gonna get sound mix mixer options. Now, the reason why this is so important is that, as you can see, the output is set to default. The default for me is the Elgato that I just showed you all. It would be the same way of me manually selecting the speaker's Elgato. Now, here's where the trick really comes into play. For me, I'm using the Amazon Web Player for when I'm using the extension while streaming. So if I set Google Chrome to go through the speakers as opposed to the Elgato, then now I can listen to the audio through my speakers, or if I wanted to use my headset, I could just, if I played with a headset, I could now have it stream through my headset. Meanwhile, OBS is still picking up. As we looked at before, OBS is still picking up the desktop audio that we're going to be using. So if you're on a single PC, you'd probably be looking at this one right here, speakers high definition audio device. This is your standard Windows device that you're using to listen to, basically everything. So now you can set this, if you are a single PC user, this is the device that you would normally have selected. You can just hit okay, and now that's gonna be the audio that goes through there. Now the audio for the music or the web player is going to go through my headset as opposed to the default, or for most of you that were doing a single one, going through the speaker's high definition audio device. You can see that it's all right here. So utilizing the sound mixer is the number one way to do this. The reason I said if you have a two PC setup, it means that you can bypass the Elgato and everything else functions normally and you can play that wherever you want. Now, if you listen to headphones, know that you can now use OBS to your advantage to make sure and send that through just the regular high definition audio device. You don't have to have your speakers on for this to work because it's gonna be trying to send a signal there. So if you're saying, well, I don't wanna have my speakers turned up, just turn them off. It's still going to send the audio. So there's a lot of workarounds for this. There's some other clips that are out there using voice meter. It's kind of like using Elgato in a slightly different fashion for a single PC user. So there is that option, but this is the number one way that you can listen to audio for yourself, for your own viewing pleasure without it bleeding through to your stream. Because a lot of us like to game with music. We would love to share that with our audience, but we don't have that capability because we're afraid of the DMCA rules as you should be. So you wanna to try to avoid that, but if you don't even care, then you're probably not even watching this video. So if you're watching this video, it's because you don't wanna get sh those strengths. You don't wanna have your channel taken down. So utilizing the sound mixer, mixer option and making sure to send it in a different direction is where it's at. Now, as far as Amazon Music goes, if you have Amazon Prime, you already have access to some music. If you have Amazon Music Unlimited, it means it's kind of like having Spotify or whatever else you use. Now, if you're a streamer, this is really good because Amazon owns Twitch. So naturally they're gonna say, you know what, let's try and make this work. So now there is an Amazon Music extension 
which is what we're going to focus on now. Amazon Music, share Amazon Music with your viewers and let them see the music that you're listening to. With the Amazon Music extension, with either Prime Music or Amazon Music Unlimited, you and your viewers can enjoy the same listening experience with if your viewer also has Amazon Music. So this says that if your viewer has Amazon Prime, then they can listen to some of the songs. And if they have Amazon Music Unlimited, they can basically listen to everything you have. So if you have Amazon Music Unlimited, there'll be potentially some songs that your viewers can't hear. So all you want to do is you want to install this extension, make sure that this is set up. It's kind of tricky at first. It's actually a little weird. I actually struggled on the first time. I don't know why it kind of didn't go. Make sure you refresh everything. I had to refresh a couple of times. But then once you're here, this goes back to the sound mixer option that I was talking about is that I send my Google Chrome now just through the speakers as opposed to through the Elgato. And now I can send this. This is the exact same concept is that I can now say, you know what? I don't want this to send it to the Elgato or I don't want to send it to the speakers because that's where it's at. And I can just send it to my headphones. And now I can listen through my headphones without the worry of it going through OBS, right? It's all one big circle to avoid making sure that it doesn't send it to this identical device that is pushing the audio to your computer, to your OBS. So that's the different way to get around it. So if you're using Amazon Music, if you go to your stream manager, you now can add that tab here. If you're a streamer, you know what this looks like. You can now click on Amazon Music. It's going to open up this browser, this window here. You're gonna click on Amazon Music is not in my streams audio. This is your way to confirm that you are not streaming it to OBS. Everything that I just mentioned is basically this prompt right here. Viewers should listen to it through the extension, not through the stream. You hit continue. Now, here's one thing that's cool. If you are an Amazon affiliate, if you're a bigger streamer, then this is probably going to be better for you. But if you're an Amazon affiliate, you can now add this. You can add your tag in there. You can do some different stuff there. So you get money back if other people sign up. We're not gonna worry about that. You just hover over, no thanks, not now. And then you're going to open the web player and that's it. That's all you have to do to get Amazon Music. You don't have to use the desktop application. You can now play this. And this is why you're sending your Google Chrome through a different audio device than what is selected for OBS. So this makes it super easy to do. You can now listen to anything that you want. And well, for some of your audience, let's be honest, a lot of people have Amazon Prime. Some people might even have Amazon Music Unlimited. So this gives you the opportunity to listen to your own music, find a ton of stuff that you wanna listen to, and then also a large portion, portion of your audience might actually be listening with you through that application. It's basically whenever they hover over the screen, we've all seen it, that application, it's kind of like the Amazon Blacksmith to where when they hover over the stream window, you're gonna see that pop up. So they'll be able to see what you're listening to and then you know eventually be able to, to listen along if they have that opportunity. So there's a lot of different ways to be able to do that. There's a lot of different things you can do with just using the sound mixer option. Now, if you are in that single PC moment and you don't really have the setup to where it's like, look, everything I have is going through a speaker. I only have one device and this is how I'm doing it. Then the voice meter option is gonna be there. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna cover that option because that's just making this way too redundant at this point. But voice meter, you can use that. There's plenty of videos out there. I might even make a separate one about that, but there's plenty of videos out there on how to use voice meter to set that up to basically do the exact same thing that I just showed you. It's just a different, slightly different way to make sure you set up a new audio device so that you can utilize this the exact same way that I was just mentioning. So using this, this is my default, the, the Elgato. That's why I said, if you're using a two PC setup, your default should be an Elgato or whatever is sending the audio to your second PC. If you're a single PC streamer, which I imagine a large portion of people are, you can utilize a different device. You can utilize the voice meter. You can find different ways to do this and make it super easy to say, you know what? I'm gonna send it through the device. I like to wear headphones. For those of you that don't wear headphones, that don't have two PCs, then you're probably gonna have to go the voice meter option. And that's not a bad option to go with. It's super easy to set up. So. That's it, that's how to listen to music while still streaming because we all love to game or carry on with music. We would love to share that with our audience. 
but that is very hard to do and very risky to do if you try and do that. I would not recommend it at all. But if you do have Amazon Music and you do have the unlimited, then your life gets a lot easier because you can share your music with more people for free because Amazon Music says, you know what, it's okay because it's our platform. So we're going to do it this way. So it makes it a little bit easier to get through that and make it easier to share your music and what you're listening to so people can understand your personality and get in on that action. Because honestly, it's all about building those connections. But that's it. That's how you listen to music while streaming. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if this video helped you out or helped you set up, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment below letting me know if this helped you out. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as that goes a long way to help support in the long-term growth as well as many other options there. Thank you all so much. I hope this works for you. Till next time.